Hello, today we're going to learn how to create a rollover menu from an 800 by 200 pixel design in Fireworks. Uh, the first step in it is you got to create your design and then you're going to go into your frames palette and duplicate the layer by dragging it to the plus and you're going to get exact copy. Then you're going to hold down shift click on each one and in order for a rollover to be effective you have to make it a uh, change somehow so I'm going to just choose like red so it's going to roll over and go from yellow to red now after you've got that you just hold down shift click on them again go to your behaviors palette and choose simple rollover choose slice multiple and now it created multiple slices now you're not quite done yet you're gonna have to go through each one click on each make sure each one is deselected and then you click on one to select it and you're gonna add the links and the first one is home you always name home index.htm or html and then put an alt description now I'm gonna go through and add links to each one of these but we're going to skip ahead now we've uh, linked each one of these portfolio notice each change is down there now the last step is you want to label these slices if you don't you won't be able to easily pick out in your uh, image file where which ones which and it comes in way handier later so home is highlighted and we're just going to name that slice home and I'm going to go through that one's profile and I'm going to finish naming the rest of them okay once I've got all my layers labeled all these slices labeled in the layers I am ready to export so we're going to go file export preview then you um, choose which format you want it to be in. If you got a lot of gradients, the best is to use a JPEG because it gets a little bit better quality when you use some gradients. But if it, it's just mainly vector with no shadows or anything, you're safe with GIF. Um, notice the file size, 222.55K. That's kind of large, so I'm going to try moving it down to 80%. And it, moves it down but you really can't tell much of a loss in quality and that's kind of what you want to go towards so I'm going to click export and I already created a folder called root that I'm going to export this in notice it says put images in subfolder images slash it's going to create a folder called images that way it's good to keep your web files separate from your image files keep everything nice and organized so that's what we're wanting to do so it's going to go root it's going to create your header.html file and then a folder called images where all the sliced up image files are going to be click save okay now just as it said it would, it created the header.html, created your images folder, and you got all the little sliced up images. That's why they call them slices. It cuts them in little bits and pieces. It helps the whole thing load faster. Now I'm going to open this with Safari, and we're going to quickly see what we just made. And that's it. Notice the link shows up down here. That's what you're going to want to name these pages after you've created it. But uh, this is a good start, and hopefully you'll be able to create a good rollover header from these directions. Hey class, this video was part of a five-step video series in website construction. If you found this video useful, click on one of the other videos below to continue to the next step.